Woods is surviving and thriving and trending. <laughs> and if you're like me, you're like, what Why? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people on Twitter noticed last night there were a few things trending, one of them being Jordan. And people were like, what now? Is it drama? What what's the what's the latest? You guys, people, are, she's trending just because people love her and she's thriving and she's living her best life. In fact, I would say she is living a hot girl summer. Mm -hmm. And why is that? Is because she and Megan Thee Stallion uh, shared these photos hanging out together and it really did kind of like break the internet. Because if there's not one thing that people love right now more than Megan and Jordan, it's like two powerful yes. women together looking and fierce. looking fierce. They look so good. Fierce AF, I would say. I mean, those photos, damn. It's a buddy relationship, mm -hmm. I would say, a friendship, right? Uh, and in fact, they gave us not only these photos, but uh, we, we got the video proof too, you guys. The receipts because of the Because if you don't put it together. on social media, it didn't happen, right? right? You didn't hang out. You don't have a friendship. And the picture, picture <laughs> does kidding. tell a thousand words, but like the, the their afternoon together or their into their evening right. was pretty lit. This is a video that Jordan tweeted saying, nah, for real, she's mm -hmm. the one. Megan also was doing Jordan's hair in a uh, pool. This, this <laughs> like video. you do. First of all, oh God, is that, is that, is that plugged in? Yes, you can't do that. Okay, now they're uh, dancing together and she is, I would say, initiating mm. Jordan into uh, the hotties because she let her do, what is drive the boat. She let her drive the boat. She, she poured the alcohol the in Jordan's mouth. And so, of course, all of that became uh, a trending topic on Twitter. And the funny thing is, is like, you know, obviously when you see a photo of two people together, you're like, oh, they hung out, you know, maybe once or whatever. But once we saw all of those videos, like they legit ha are friends. Well, it's one of those things when you see Megan the Stallion hanging out with someone, you know, mm -hmm. it's gonna be a party. And then right. she shares it for us to kind of like feel like we're there too. Yeah. And I know our, our producer, Brianna, yep, Brianna. Our producer in the control booth was watching all this go down too. Did you feel like you're yeah. a part of it or did you feel like you were missing out? I felt like I was a part of it. I was like, oh, okay, so they're riding around in LA. Where's my invite? I'm waiting for my text <laughs> message so I can pull up. But yeah, I was super excited. I think the reason everyone's so excited to see Jordan and Megan together is like, this is who Jordan needs to be hanging out with. She got her yeah. a new friend who's going to be a champion for her. And right. like, you know, the black community is happy for Jordan Woods. We're really proud of her. She's out here. She's living her best life. I think, like, you know, you mentioned, obviously, they need, she needs, like, a champion for her. And Megan is a pillar for female empowerment and kind of taking Jordan under her wings. Not that Jordan needs it because no. Jordan has showed us within the last six months, especially since all of the drama went down right. with Tristan and Chloe and whatnot, she has made a name for herself uh, in fashion, on TV, mm -hmm. and, you know, doing her own thing. She's living her own life. So, you know, again, that kind of female empowerment angle is what I'm focusing on here with their friends. Chat. And you said it, it was only six months ago that that whole thing went down, but to Brianna's point though, I feel like ever since she moved out of Kylie Jenner's house, the black community has embraced her. They're like, no, no, we got you, boo. Uh, this is her Boohoo collab, but I want to talk about her being featured in Rick Ross's music video for Big Time as the rapper's love interest. Right. Like, clearly, I mean, now she's a video vixen. And, and not even just in music videos, but also on the screen on TV yep. shows. She was in an episode of Grownish. I mean, really, she is every Everywhere. She's racking up the IMDb credits like no other. Living her best life, uh, collecting her own bag, yes, for the record. Yes. Which is something that was addressed on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Mm -hmm. The Kardashians, in a recent episode, had implied that Jordan they is a made success her. because they right. made her. And uh, we actually asked her about it recently when she was celebrating that Boohoo collab. Here's what she had to say. I would like to keep this conversation more about fashion and what's going on, but I definitely work very hard for a lot of the things that I have and, you know, as you can see, I'm out here hustling, and I always, I've been working. I started modeling when I was 18, and, you know, I, I work hard, so. You know what? She is hustling, mm. and people can't hate her for that. She is collecting her coin, and she has been able to turn a very sour mm. situation into a sweet one for her own and, you know, write her own narrative. And, and What's Keep even, her head held high. What's even more significant about that in particular is that we are living in a cancel culture. Mm -hmm. So again, when I saw her trending on Twitter last night, I go, oh no, are they what dragging are we, her? Again, it was yeah. the opposite. Everyone was like, okay, girl, like you are a phoenix rising from the ashes. <laughs> you know? Like, yeah, that's yeah. what happens when you get in with the Smith family. Because come on, right. what's the o only other family <gasps> that's going to rival the Kardashians? It's going to be for sure the Smith Will family. Sm Will Smith saved us from the aliens. Yep. He saved us from, uh, he saved the last. <laughs> It, and now uh, we see the Jordan Woods. Oh, yeah. I love it. Uh. All right, you guys. Uh, <laughs>
Speaking of Megan the Stallion, though, it seems like her hotting list is growing, though. Jordan Woods is just the latest star mm -hmm. to hop on board the One hot girl many. summer train. You know what I'm saying? One of many stars to hop on. Many, many stars. I think it would be helpful, though, to remind y'all what Hot Girl Summer is defined as, according to Megan Thee Stallion. So Meg told The Root that it's about women and men being unapologetically them, just having a good ass time, mm. hyping up their friends, doing you. That is the definition of Hot Girl Summer, sign according to the woman who invented Hot Girl Summer herself. All I can say is sign me up, mm -hmm. you guys. Uh, as you noticed with Jordan Woods, you mentioned it, she inducts new members to right. her squad by letting them drive the boat, which is pouring some <laughs> cognac into their mouths. I mean, how are you going to turn down Meg the Stallion? And you know? as Denny pointed out earlier off camera, if you perhaps maybe drive the boat a little too much, you might crash you might the crash. boat. <laughs> if, you, okay. if you have a little too much of the alcohol. But Brianna, you have been compiling a list of all of the people that Meg has initiated. Who, who should we kick it off with? So this first one is Summer Walker. Uh, uh, Summer Walker is like an R&B singer who kind of just got on the scene recently thanks to Drake kind of hyping up one of her okay. songs. Mm. So like this one we see the two of them got together and she's letting Summer Walker. Actually, I was, <laughs> funny story, I was actually at that party. I'm just <laughs> remembering. Did you, yeah. did you get to drive the bus? I didn't. She came <laughs> around and for some reason I didn't do it. I don't know why. I wow, let my friend did it and I was just like, eh, nah, but now I'm regretting. Now I'm just like, I should have driven the boat. Now does it have to be cognac? Like, can um, I drive the boat to tequila? Te yeah, we're more Well, tequila. most of the ones that I've seen have been cognac. Actually, okay. that party was called the Cognac Queen pageant. Well, so sense. I think, Listen, like, cognac but is being a, The Hot Girl Summer is all about you doing you. You, you do you. you. So, you so, yeah, if you want to do tequila, you do tequila. Do Thank tequila. You, <laughs> Whatever it is yes. to your heart's desire. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite recent hangs was Megan Thee Stallion <laughs> and Lizzo. Because those course. two had a grand old time. I mean, they drove the boat, they crashed it, they got back up, they flew it on the boat, they twerked on the boat. I mean, they did it all. They did everything on the boat. <laughs> yeah, they did. I really like the two of them together, especially since, like, they're both from Houston, and they, mm -hmm. like, really kind of radiate the same energy. So and the now, two of like, them together is And now, like, collabing great. on the boat, right. too. Yes. Let's hope so. <laughs> they were teasing that they were kind of in the studio, right? They've mm -hmm. been cooking something up. Yeah, oh, well, I hope so. I think she and SZA was there also, which mm -hmm. um, she also did let... Is a drive the boat as well. That's wow. number 23. Um, oh, that I know, we're just loving this Lizzo Meg one. And also, Kalani drove the boat to a lot of people. Okay, this yeah, so this one is Lala. Yeah, Ooh, so Lala drove struggling. the boat. Yeah, you see Lala, it's like, <laughs> she she's like, struggling. you Lala drove doesn't a, like you, the boat. Yeah, she's like, you poured a oh little bit God. too much in there. <laughs> Poor Lala, oh my God, look at her, no! But here's the thing, I'm not gonna lie, and I've made this joke before, like Meg's pores are kind of weak. They're, just like, they're, they're a little bit, and I, listen, I'm not one to talk because I'm not I gonna, gonna lie, say. I wouldn't be able to take that like I, a champ either, but. I was gonna say, <laughs> between the two of us, you'd be like making the same I, face yeah, as Lala. No. Yeah, so you guys mentioned Kamaya also and Kalani. Did we see that one already? We did no, not. We didn't, no. Yeah, so there's Kamaya. I love how she they has. Tagged the boat. <laughs> she tagged with the boat. <laughs> but she, uh, Kamaya, she's pouring uh, Kamaya's mouth, and Kalani is right there, like, you're doing amazing, sweetie. She's the Chris Jenner right there, documenting it all. Right. And she also got with. Um, R&B singer Ari Lennox. It's number 25. So you see she let her drive the boat also. It's so funny watching like the reactions to these people after they drive the boat. Because some of them will be like, yeah, yeah. But a lot of them like Lala will be like, ooh, girl, you gave me too much. I'm well, curious as to when Meg is going to have her own alcohol line. Her seriously? own uh, liquor. Yep. Oh, well, I'm sure that's coming. I'm sure it's coming. And I'll, I'll have what Meg's having because she is on a hot streak right now. Like, she's mm -hmm. totally on fire. She's spreading that wealth and that love, too. All that good energy. Right. But uh, what happens when uh, the summer turns to the fall and even the winter? Oh, it's I a like question this. that we had for Meg. So she stopped by our ET booth that we had at BeautyCon over the weekend. Yeah. And we had to ask her. Obviously, it's August, which next up is September. Do keep it moving? That's the fall. So do we keep it moving? Hot girl summer what happens in the fall spoken from the woman who invented hot girl summer herself here's what she had to say so first of all we're going back to school yeah school is starting back so it's about to be a hot nerd semester hot, nerd semester. <laughs> hot girl semester you know what i'm saying so you know just get ready for these study breaks we're gonna park the boat because i've been driving the boat all summer i'm gonna give my liver a break yeah okay i'm gonna you know bring tina snow back out in the wintertime though tina snow yes my yes. other alter ego <laughs>
Tina's? No, I, I cannot oh wait. God. And you, girl, you give that liver a break. <laughs> I know, right? I'm here for Hot Girl Fall, though. Okay. My liver hurts just watching all of those videos, and I'm not even the one drinking. Right. Well, someone <laughs> who also has a hard time drinking is Nicki Minaj, and they mm -hmm. recently hung out, too. In fact, Nicki wouldn't let Meg initiate her because she doesn't drink too much. Mm -hmm. But she did let Meg did let Nicki take the reins a little bit. I don't know if we have a clip of it. Do you guys want to play it? Let's see. She did a lot. But so I'm, I'm gonna swallow my pride and drive the boat for, <laughs> for Nikki. I have to drive the boat for the boy. Yay! Yay, yay, yay! Okay. Me up. And yeah, because now you mix them like a. I am. All right. I'm this ready. is Moscato, child. It ain't gonna hurt my baby. I'm ready. Okay. Come on, Stallion. Guzzle up. Guzzle up, baby girl. Ooh, here, yeah, take that. Me. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Okay, not gonna lie, that's uh, my type of driving right. the boat. Uh, just, you know, some Moscato, some easy, goes uh -huh. down smooth. Nikki had to plug her drink, no, that's Nikki's drink. No spilling, nothing, yeah. yeah I love that. Well, listen, those Speaking two, of spilling. The, uh, right? Story, yeah. Let's talk about spilling the tea here. First of all, Megan had to pull out of her appearance on Queen Radio Monday, and instead, we got Nicki Minaj going off on Joe Budden. She called him out for lying that Nikki knew Cardi B would be on motorsport, motorsport with her. <laughs> Take a listen. You said that. many times that I lied that I didn't know another bitch was on a song I was on. Here's my and question And now you, you. want to dress it. Can I ask a question See? now? Was Nicki Minaj and Cardi B on the motorsport record directing bars at each other? What the f You're not going to change the subject. I'm asking you a question. That's the same subject. No, the it's not. I said I knew the bitch was on a song. You said she she didn't know she was on a song. Nick, I don't believe Just, that I said that. If you want to be oh honest. Oh my god. Believe that Nick Minaj. Was a tree. You believe that Nick Minaj <laughs> was aware that Cardi B was the no. Do you have a twin? <laughs> oh, I'm, the receipts, the expletives. I mean, I knew they had a combative history, yeah, but they like, do. wow. Especially with, especially with the Barb's, the Barb's fan base too. Like this was. Heating up. I mean, what a way to kick off the one year anniversary of Queen Radio of for her the record. Podcast, yeah. That was it, right? Uh, so it was a lot of back and forth, a lot of he said, she said. Uh, to give you guys a little more context, Nikki has gone on the record to say that she was aware that Cardi B was going to be on Motorsport, Migos' mm -hmm. song with them. He claims she didn't know, and then she pulled up those receipts to prove that he believed her. Uh, I'm so confused by all of this. And this all a lot of drama. And speaking of the drama, this all started because uh, she was talking about Hot Girl Sum mm -hmm. Summer, her collab with Megan Thee Stallion, saying that the collab happened organically right. because of that Instagram Live we just played for you guys. But Joe seems to think that it was all planned and part of like hyping up the track. Exactly. But I watched that Instagram Live. It seemed so organic. And even Meg, when she sat down with us talking to ET yeah. over the weekend, she talked all about how the collaboration came to be with Nikki. And to be honest, it sounded like it was an effort from the, the Instagram Live, right. from the fan right. base, from, and genuinely Nikki wanting to uh, jump on a track with her. And that's exactly what happened. At least that's what Nikki said. But uh, it was a long laundry list of mm -hmm. Nikki calling out Joe on stuff that he, she claims he lied about, including the time, I guess, that Joe accused her of possibly being on drugs last summer. It's okay for you to get up there and make me sound crazy and say I'm on drugs, right? Please I wish people knew I was most, I'm, I'm most comfortable please. in the most uncomfortable predicament. And so am I. I and what the f you won't do is disrespect me like I'm never, stupid. Because you know how intelligent I'm, and powerful I am, or, like you said, right? I'm my, so powerful, right, Joe? Or because my mother raised me properly. Oh, so your mother raised you to accuse people of being on drugs? That's what your mother raised you to? Your mother raised oh, you. you your mother raised you. Yeah, yeah, you got, yeah, here. taste you of your own like mother medicine, mother. What is what yeah, you like, like you talking like talking people about people not and not having nobody responding. It's you like you fun. like tearing it's down people's fun. character when they can't respond. That's and when they can, well, you like tearing down women when they can't defend Nick. themselves. Ooh, I gotta give it up to Nikki for oh, yeah. standing, standing her ground. Her ground. Right, oh yeah, a hundred percent. I agree with her because I personally cannot stand Joe Budden because mm. he does that. He talks a right. big game. He talks about a lot of people all the time, but no one ever calls him out on it to his face. She, so it's great that Nikki had the opportunity. Especially, to I mean, on her own podcast yes, too. She's her, not gonna let him. And brought receipts yeah. too. I was gonna say, well, she supported it with facts though. You yeah. know, she dropped these truth bombs and made him look bad. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and in fact, right after that moment things got super super heated she Social cut his media, mic yeah. off so he was done Ooh. she was like bye joe uh and then joe <laughs> tweeted this he tweeted spicy that's it that's it and then uh he responded to another fan after they said that joe button is wild and he says i live for this not gonna lie i love queen radio and i love that it's like a podcast but i really wish there were some cameras on that i, I know. mean uh, fly on the wall 
something. Nikki did say she was gonna tweet out just the audio from the Joe part so that you guys get the full context and stuff. Right. Because again, it, it all started from like mm -hmm. her claims uh, about Hot Girl Summer and Motorsport and just mm -hmm. calling them out on this right. stuff, you know? In other news, also on the oh, podcast yeah. too, Nikki dropped another truth bomb that she's gonna be marrying her boyfriend in the next 90 days. So there's that too. So we have that to look forward to you guys. Apparently she says that she and Bay, Kenneth Zupetti, will get married in the next uh, month and a half. And you know what? When it's time for the honeymoon, Actually, Nikki, month. I got one thing for you. You should uh, call up Delta because apparently <laughs> they're doing some like private jet flights, you guys, which is now our MVP, our most viral post today. Uh, this one, you know what? I'm going to let the video speak for itself, but basically... One guy got to the dream of a lifetime oh. flying on his own on a Delta flight. Take a look. Will the only passenger on this flight kindly board at this time? That's me. Mr. Pioli? Yes, yes, I'm coming. I'm going to record this. In your professional experience, has anyone ever flown alone on a plane before? Yes, I have. Okay. I'm not going I'm, I'm not, I'm not to post that. Okay. So we're just adding weight. We're just adding weight to the plane because because there are no people. Good evening, Vincent, and welcome aboard. Thank we look you. Look forward to taking care of you today. If you need any assistance getting settled, we're delighted to serve you. To ensure an on-time departure, please remain in your assigned seat. Yep. Please place larger items. Meanwhile, on my last flight, I'm smushed between I'm three people. Literally in the middle, I had to He's check my bag, <laughs> even though it was a carry-on. He's got, oh wow, the hey, captain. Okay, oh, okay, pilot, pilot of that flight. It's not every day you get to ride a commercial Delta flight by, by yourself. yourself. Okay, but that's what happened to director Vincent Pion. Mm -hmm. um, he was only going from Aspen, Colorado to Salt Lake, Salt Lake City, City, Utah. But like, this is how you do it. He's got a whole, look at him. And he yeah. like, takes a pose like it's a private plane. Vincent, Thank yes. you again for showing the pilot, you guys, in the control room. I and appreciate that. And our thanks that. to Vincent for chronicling <laughs> this entire experience because we I got a kick out of it I think my favorite part is putting weight on the plane Neither. because there's no people. Not enough people. That, that was a good one. That made our day. Oh, it made our day. It brought a smile to our faces. For sure. All right, you guys, that does it for the download. Make sure you guys stick with the stream. ET Live isn't going nowhere. Bye, Brianna.